Good afternoon, guys. This is Mike Padua once again, and we are returning to our tropical weather analysis. And this is for this weekend of Saturday to Monday, June 17 to 19, 2023. And this is our English version, virtually by Typhoon 2000, in partnership with the Naga College Foundation, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, and Avenue Plaza Hotel. Let's begin with our update. Here is the latest graph set for today, Saturday, until Monday, since we don't have graph set for tomorrow, Sunday. So this is a 48-hour analysis. And uh, it looks like the Philippine Islands is uh, devoid of any um, major weather system as of this time, except for this uh, wind system, the uh, light to moderate easterly winds and also southeasterly winds. And these wind systems will affect Batanes and Babuyan Kobo Islands, Bicol region, and the eastern uh, sections of the Visayas. So we expect uh, sunny skies, high uh, temperatures, with heat index hitting around 40, uh, around 40s, and uh, possible cloudy skies with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms will still be expected later this afternoon or evening, particularly over Visayas and Mindanao, since they are more closer to the equator, more prone for these uh, local thunderstorms due to. Uh, uh, high heat or high humidity and uh, the monsoon trough has dissipated over the past uh, 24 hours and we have here a frontal system the major front uh, this is a common uh, occurrence during this time of uh, May June uh, timeline and uh, we have a uh, near equatorial trough here which uh, produces some um, thunderstorms in the vicinity of Micronesia, including Palau. So uh, these areas will have lots of thunderstorms. And the intertropical convergence zone over the Marshall Islands and the eastern portions of Micronesia. So far, no tropical low pressure areas or tropical cyclone developing within the next uh, five to seven days. Although uh, some of the models are producing a low pressure system, but no longer a tropical cyclone based on uh, the American model, which is uh, having difficulty in forecasting these kinds of systems. So again, watch out for possible lightning strikes and uh, flooding when we have uh, severe thunderstorms in your respective areas, particularly down here over Palawan, Visayas, and Mindanao. Now let's take a look at the fast animation. So there, there we go. These are the uh, cloudiness of the uh, New York Tower trough and intertropical conversion zone here. While uh, uh, stationary major front here over to the south of Japan. That's it. Nothing unusual across the Philippine Islands. Actually, this weekend is great, great weather, but uh, expect some hot or high temperatures. So don't forget to drink lots of fluids to battle this. Uh, heat stress or high heat index okay here's the uh, zoom in satellite animation so you know, these are now the developing thunderstorms as you can see here in portions of Bill region Visayas and Mindanao that are currently uh, forming uh, as of this time it's already almost three o'clock in the afternoon here in the Philippine Islands. Now let's take a look at the uh, wind and pressure forecast from the European model, courtesy of winter.com. Uh, by tomorrow afternoon, we expect uh, variable, come to variable winds across much of the archipelago, except for the coastal waters of the West Philippine Sea, where we have some light southerly winds and light southeasterly winds over the coastal waters of Cagayan uh, uh, province. And uh, very light winds from the east across the coastal waters of Bicol region and eastern Visayas. Monday afternoon, still calm and quiet all across the Philippine Islands except for the, uh, the return of the uh, southwesterly wind flow across, uh, across the coastal waters of uh, uh, northern Luzon and uh, uh, particularly over Batanes and Babuyan Group. And if you take a look on that uh, LPA that is expected to form based on the computer models, the American model has dissipated that uh, system, although the European model is now forecasting it 
uh, to form but this is sometime next uh, weekend this will be on saturday june 24 june 25 sunday it will uh, traverse uh, northern portions of the Bicol region and into uh, luzon but again this forecast of eight to ten days is highly uncertain very low in probability uh, actually it's around zero to ten percent so there's nothing to worry but we are going to observe this uh, uh, low pressure system and yet another one will form here so this could mean that the last week of the month until early july we might be having some multiple uh, circulation low pressure or tropical cyclones but that is only a few models as of this time and we are going to uh, observe that beginning next week we are going to uh, observe these computer models beginning next week so that you can uh, be prepared when we have a uh, when these uh, systems appear okay so as of this time relax chillax there's no no need to worry those forecasts of more than uh, five days are not yet sure okay now for the rainfall accumulation for the next three days expect some thunderstorms to occur across mindanao visayas palawan portions of Bicol region southern tagalog provinces and ilocos region due to local uh, thunderstorms and uh, if we take a look now on the latest el nino watch it's no longer a watch since uh, as of the June 8, the uh, uh, NOAA of the United States of America, since the NOAA Climate Prediction Center of U.S. has already predicted, has already issued a uh, an El Nino advisory. So it means El Nino is now uh, starting or has started. And as of uh, May, June, July time frame, it's now at 85%. So it's just uh, the start of this uh, below average rainfall uh, climate uh, system. Expect decrease of uh, rainfall averages for the next six to for the next six to uh, eight months. Okay. As we move into uh, uh, bare months. The uh, El Nino will reach a high of uh, 95 or 96 percent. That will be uh, September, October, November. So the effects of this uh, El Nino uh, phenomenon will be felt over the Philippine Islands in the next couple of months. So likely by September, it will uh, already affect the Philippine Islands with decreased uh, rainfall activity across the country except if we have tropical cyclones so that will uh, push through or that will persist through next year okay first or second quarter of next year 2024 until uh, actually in in this uh, uh, forecast it says uh, uh, during january february march it's still at 90 plus percent so uh, based on the forecast a few months ago the this kind of uh, el nino is likely to be a moderate one but some say it could reach uh, at uh, 50 percent on a uh, possible strong el nino so so watch out for the effects of this el nino which is expected to occur in, in our country in the coming months as we take a look at the latest international research institute for the climate and the society of university school of columbia and uh, it says here that july august and september 2023 the uh, precipitation is still no at normal uh, levels it's still at normal to slightly above normal and then uh, when we reach august september october uh, the uh, trend will uh, will begin to decrease and uh, most likely mindanao and luzon will now uh, be having some uh, below average rainfall or below normal and September October November time frame uh, there you go most of the country will now receive below normal rainfall or precipitation and uh, October November December this is this is the last of the uh, probability forecast for precipitation so far as of June 
it shows that uh, the rest of the Philippine Islands will have a higher probability of below average or below normal uh, rainfall or precipitation. And uh, you know, you all know that this is due to the uh, uh, to the approach of the El Nino climate. Okay, so there you go. That's the uh, latest for this weekend. We will turn on Monday to give you more updates on the weather from Typhoon 2000. This is Mike Padua saying uh, happy weekend to all. Stay safe always, and thank you so much for watching our channel.